Hi guys, Adam Steele for Hot Pole Studios here and today we're going to talk about getting yourself up and running with a very inexpensive audio recording setup because I appreciate that even though some of us have these crazy studio systems, not everybody can afford that, but what can you afford that will be absolutely rock solid for you to record with? Let's check it out. So let's say you're just starting out, this is 2019 when I'm filming this, and you've got a tiny budget and you really want to get into recording and you've not got anything apart from, let's say, a phone which you're watching this video on or an iPad or you're watching this on somebody else's computer. So you're going to need some sort of laptop or desktop to record on and if you're going to use a laptop, I highly recommend getting something like this. You may have seen the Reaper tutorials that I've started refilming. Uh, the first episode is the first time you will have seen this on camera. This is a Lenovo ThinkPad. This specifically is the T420 model. Uh, this was recommended to me by one of my viewers. And it's been absolutely incredible in terms of what it can do for the money. You see, the reason that I'm suggesting something like this is that there are loads and loads and loads of them. Uh, the reason that these are going cheaply is because businesses around the country, around the world, will have bought these computers on lease or just bought them outright by the thousand because Lenovo are one of the biggest manufacturers in the world of business computers. Because there are so many of them, eBay is absolutely flooded with them. And that means that you can get one really, really cheap. So this thing has a Core i5 Sandy Bridge processor, which is relatively old right now, but it's still a dual core, fairly powerful little machine. Uh, I got this one with eight gigabytes of RAM in it, which is about as much as I would recommend for starting audio production, because you've got to get Windows to work alongside what you're doing and four gigabytes really isn't enough memory these days I think. Uh, there were a couple of limitations so let me log in. Uh, but they were easy to fix because all the parts were absolutely cheap as you like. So what did I pay for this? I paid about £110 for this laptop. It's absolutely solid. It came with an old spinning hard drive, which was, to be honest, the bottleneck of the thing. It was the thing that was causing the most slowdown. But that's something we're going to talk about. And also, the battery was kind of poorly performing, which I've also replaced. So, um, for the price of... The, for £110, I got this machine, and it's relatively fast processor and all that kind of stuff. It was taking forever to load Windows because of the old spinning drive. Uh, what I found now is that solid state drives are cheaper than they have ever been. I think it's about £30 right now for a 250 gigabyte solid state drive. And I saw one on Amazon, a 500 gigabyte drive, it might have been 480, for £45, which is way cheap. And the performance boost that you'll get on a, an old laptop is like, 10 times faster, not necessarily making it 10 times faster than a modern machine, but the old spinning drives, especially with later versions of Windows, cause massive slowdowns, which are all avoided by having something like this. Now, this machine, I upgraded to an SSD and also I changed out the battery. This replacement battery, which is bigger than the original, so lasts half as long again, cost me about £11 because, like I was saying, because Lenovo made thousands upon thousands of these machines, replacement parts are so common that it's really, really, really cheap getting a replacement. And also, the cheap solid state drive means that I've upgraded this to pretty much faster than when it was new and in total it cost me £150. That's incredible. 
Now, if I get a copy of Reaper to use on this and I pay for it $60, that's 200-ish pounds that we're up to now. Um, if I get myself a little interface that I can rely on, which for me is the Audience ID 4, uh, that's under £100, so we're looking at £300 for the entire setup, laptop interface, the lot. And then I'm going to go ahead and assume that you've already got a guitar and a cable if you're recording DI. If you're recording with microphones, you're going to have to get microphones, but you can get cheap microphones, like Toman in Europe do their T-Bone microphones really cheap. Um, if you just need something to record with, Let's say you're going to spend £40 on a microphone, so we're looking at £340 all in. Just as a ballpark beginner kind of figure. That's really, 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 really cheap. But yeah, Lenovo T420 or maybe T430 if you can find one. The newer you find, obviously, the better they'll perform. If you're desperate for something that's cheap and rugged, funny story, the night that I got this, I was at an open mic night. I googled some lyrics using this laptop and I put it on a music stand and the music stand went doof and the laptop before I could catch it fell off and landed on a hard floor. I picked it up, it's been absolutely fine. These things are built like tanks. It's even got little things like it's got a light in the top where the webcam is that can shine down on the keyboard so that if you're working in the dark you can see where your keys are. Little things that I think business laptops get right and gaming laptops get wrong and have done for a long time. I, I think it's absolutely brilliant. Can you get more powerful machines? Of course you can, but the amount of money you pay goes up rapidly. When I paid for my main laptop, which is my video editing laptop, I must have paid one and a half thousand pounds for it. So I could have bought, even including the upgrades, 10 of these for one of those so for what i'm using this for and especially considering i can do things like i can freeze uh, tracks and keep that going because it's all on an ssd it's all just going to keep flying and it's only processor dependent in terms of what it's going to use so when i got this this is now running on windows 10 i had to go through a few steps and i'm just going to mention it briefly because this was entitled to have windows 10 so what I did is I bought the SSD separately, the solid state drive, and I turned this on with its original settings with Windows 7. And I downloaded the Windows 10 update tool, and I updated to Windows 10 on here using its own serial number and all that kind of thing. Uh, the question is, why would I do that if I was going to upgrade to a solid state drive? Reason is... Because that was using the Lenovo version of Windows 7, that all activated, got its own key, sorted itself out, and then that gets embedded on the motherboard and tied to the motherboard with Windows Update servers. Then, I got the uh, Windows 10 media installation tool, and I installed a copy of Windows 10 installer on a USB stick, took out the old hard drive, put the solid state drive in, and then installed from that USB stick a brand new copy of Windows 10 that activated itself perfectly legitimate, perfectly happy. And then I only had to put on what software I needed on this solid state drive and it's been ridiculously fast. So the next video I'm going to film now is going to be installing uh, external VST plugins on here to go with Reaper or Pro Tools or whatever you're going to use and see how fast that moves because unless we're doing anything that's seriously heavy on the CPU side this should be the perfect portable recording rig so this is what I'm going to be using from now on I hope you found this interesting I'm going to leave a couple of eBay links in the description below maybe Amazon links to replacement batteries SSDs definitely from Amazon because uh, they're so cheap right now it's ridiculous and yeah 500 gig solid state drive for less than £50, that's dirt cheap. Get on that. So I hope you found this useful. Thank you everybody for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye. Thanks for watching guys. If you enjoyed this, feel free to check out our other videos as you can find here or check out our Facebook and Twitter or our Patreon page which helps us to make more videos like this. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.